Of all of Samsung's most recent phones, none was as well received as the Galaxy S20 FE. And it makes sense, the formula after all was brilliant. Take a beloved phone and make it more affordable. That's why they call it the Fan Edition. Following last year's successful release of the Galaxy S21 series, comes the Galaxy S21 Fan Edition. Happy New Year, everyone. I'm Michael Josh, your gadget matchmaker, helping you find the right device to match your needs. In this video, I'll unbox the new Galaxy S21 FE and tell you what makes the phone so special. Let's start. I'll keep this short and sweet. The S21 FE comes in this white box. If you look closely, there's fun iconography engraved on it. When you lift up the cover, it's pretty straightforward. Phone first. Next up is this packet, which contains a SIM ejector tool, a USB-C to C cable, and user guides. That's it. Not much else to see here, folks, so let me set up the phone and I'll be right back. While in the hands, the S21 feels much more premium than the S21 FE, the latter definitely follows the same design language. Most noticeable, the shape of the camera bump. Even the rings around the three cameras. The S21 FE is available in four colors, olive, lavender, white, and graphite. With its 6.4 inch display, the S21 FE is a tad bit larger than the S21, but smaller than the S21 Plus. And you get all the good stuff, including an AMOLED panel and that 120 hertz refresh rate. It's also made of that extra tough Gorilla Glass Victus, at least up front. Its back panel is what Samsung lovingly likes to call glastic, made to feel like glass, but actually plastic. I'm not sure if it's a difference that one can actually feel because in my hands at least, it still feels like a premium phone. I have the black S21 FE, but regardless of what color you buy, the finish will be matte with metal frames that will color match the rest of the phone. Overall, without the shiny metal accents of the regular S21 series, it's not as flashy, but I like that visually it's clearly a part of the S21 family. Just like all of the top of the line S21 models, the Galaxy S21 FE is powered by a top of the line processor. Here in the US, it's Snapdragon 888. I'm not sure about other countries though. It's available in two configurations, either six gigabytes of RAM with 128 gigabytes of storage or eight plus 256. The phone starts at just under $700, the same price as the S20 FE when it launched. But back then the S20 sold for $999, making it $300 cheaper. Last year's S21 retails for just a hundred more, $799. So now the price gap isn't as big. And while that might make this phone less appealing to some, you'll find that there are also fewer differences this time around. Apart from less flashy looks and a couple of different cameras, which we'll discuss shortly, the only other major difference is an optical fingerprint scanner instead of an ultrasonic one. But I don't really see that as a deal breaker. The other would be a bit less RAM on the entry level model. Just like its more premium siblings, the Galaxy S21 FE has three cameras, a 12 megapixel wide camera with dual pixel autofocus and OIS, a 12 megapixel ultra wide with a 123 degree field of view, and an eight megapixel telephoto camera with 3X optical zoom. Of these three cameras, only the telephoto camera is different from the regular S21, meaning you get the same shallow depth of field and great night mode performance on the main lens. The same camera features two and some new ones like AI face restoration, object eraser, and dual recording mode. If you ask me for everyday use, 3X is more than good enough. I'm just happy that you have the flexibility of all three cameras on a phone that's more affordable. In exchange, you also get a better selfie camera up front. But enough talking, let's take a look at some sample photos I shot around New York.
Galaxy S21 FE packs a 4,500 milliamp hour battery that in the limited time I had with it lasted me a full day of average use with a little bit left in the tank before bedtime. It doesn't come with a bundled charger, but charging speeds are respectable. It supports up to 25 watt wired charging. I used an optional 25 watt charger from Samsung and charging speeds are as follows. The S21 FE also supports 15 watt wireless charging and reverse wireless charging, which can come in handy if you have to top up a pair of wireless earbuds. So is the Samsung Galaxy S21 Fan Edition your gadget match? Well, there's a lot to love about owning a Samsung phone. Apart from the prestige that comes along with the Samsung brand name, it's also backed up by great specs, great performance, and an overall great experience. And the same applies to the S21 FE. If you're looking to save money but still want the experience of a Samsung flagship, then I definitely recommend checking it out. But like I said up top, at $699, it's just not as competitively priced versus the S21 and most likely the upcoming S22. There's also a lot more competition in this space. The likes of the iPhone 13 mini and the Google Pixel 6 come to mind. The Pixel 6 in particular is $100 cheaper. And if you ask me, $600 is what this phone should have been priced. But whether or not it's better is a topic for another time. And speaking of time, we're out of it, folks, so you'll have to wait till our next video. Until then, make sure you're subscribed to this YouTube channel and hit that bell icon so that you get notified as soon as we upload. Follow me on social media for all the behind the scenes fun stuff. And as always, make gadgetmatch.com your daily habit. Until the next video, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.